welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been a doctor? Um, six years in practice now. Six years? Yep. Yes. Okay. Are you a general practitioner? Yes, um, I'm still under training to be an orthopedic surgeon, but I'm, I'm still a general Why practitioner. Why is he an orthopedic surgeon? What does that mean? So, orthopedic surgeons, we fix bones. So, broken bones, anything that has to do oh. with people having accidents and getting broken bones, any bone deformities and things like that. Yeah, we fix them. But how did you end up on TikTok? Yes, so um, I, I actually started TikTok not long ago. Okay. My first video was posted in 2021. Mm. Yes, um, I was on leave by then, in the middle of the year. So, I mean, in 2020, um, TikTok has actually rose to fame by then. And during the lockdown, everybody was watching TikTok. So, mm -hmm. I also started seeing videos of, of, of TikTok around everywhere I go. I, I still hadn't downloaded the app yet. And then I realized it's actually a nice platform you can use to educate people mm -hmm. because educating the public has been something of interest. So I, I just started watching videos on TikTok. I downloaded the app. I still hadn't posted anything. I didn't even register mm -hmm. until 2021. Well, you have to register as well yes. on TikTok. They, you, have to, you have to get an account. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so people will just download it and be watching people's videos yeah. without doing anything. You have to register an account to be able to post a video. Okay. So I just downloaded it, watching people here and there. And then in 2021, in the middle of the year, I was on leave. So mm. I had some free time. And then I decided to test the water. So by then it was just me flexing around my hey. own usual videos. What were you flexing? Your oh, own muscles? Then, because Charlie, uh, the way I'm sitting <laughs> now, I can see that. You have tools. Nothing like that. Well, okay. I, I still had some muscles by then, but it was more of, you know, you go you go out and you take a video. Yeah. And I posted some of those videos. And every subsequent video I posted got more views and more likes so mm -hmm. it became a bit interesting and then I, I i was just testing the water so um later part of the year in the beginning of 2022 i decided to enroll the health education okay so um initially <laughs> i um initially I, I started by trying to talk about the health topic so i i, I get a topic and then i'll just set my camera there mm -hmm. and i'll talk but then it wasn't getting enough views. Yeah, we don't like serious stuff, Yes, because people don't want to listen. They just want to watch. They, uh, they're on the app for fun. I yeah. mean, they want to see what's going on, the nice dance moves and things. So yeah. a, friend, a friend, by then a friend advised me, okay, instead of talking, why won't you just type it and then let it appear on the screen? Mm -hmm. So I started typing it. I was still not dancing by then. I would just put the camera there. If there's a trending song, I will just come and sit there. I mean, I'll be pointing on the screen. So mm -hmm. when you look at the left side, a text will appear okay. here, here, and then, yeah. And then I started getting the views, so I realized, okay, people actually, they just want to watch. So when you say yeah. started getting the views, like how many viewers would you get? Um, so then? my first my first hit vi video was, it wasn't even a, about a health thing, it was about relationships. Okay. I, I actually talked about um, how to spot a player. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I, I know it's, it's, well. How do you spot a player? So. I'm not one. The point of correction. I'm Guilty not one. But, have but, we but, a player? no, no. Yeah. I'm just, I mean, I have, I have friends who. Now you're and, throwing your friends under learn, the bus. And I learned from them. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I learned, I learned what they do, and I decided, okay, I have to do a video okay. for, for them. So, someone who is always hiding their phones from the woman. Mm. That if, person is a player. No, 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 not necessarily. Ah. You have to add a few things. You okay. Know, in medicine, if you want to diagnose something and there are symptoms involved, you have like diagnostic criteria. You have maybe five of these symptoms and other symptoms will come hey. together. I'm just trying to, you know, okay, extrapolate carry on, it. Yeah. Carry so on. For someone to be a player, they have to have certain qualities here. Yeah. He's always talking to you only at night. I mean, uh -huh. when probably the weather is cold and they are only mm. turning their phones away from you, all yeah. those things, trying to hide things away from you. Oh, it's a lot. I, I don't actually remember them, but... But I if did, your I did partner talks like to you only at night, and during the day, he or she <laughs> says they're too busy with work, well, there's a likelihood yes. that they are cheating. There is a likelihood. It's a possibility. Who is on this table? I stand cheating? to be corrected, though. <laughs> Who has experienced this before? I'm sure everyone has. You have, eh? He was lying to you. Did you catch him later? <laughs> or you're lying to me? <laughs> okay, but how has your um, updates on TikTok affected the lives of people? So, as I said, educating people has, has been a priority. Way back in medical school, I used to be part of the education committee. And what we did was, during weekends, we go to radio stations mm. to discuss a topic. And then we get phone in from people listening. They'll ask questions, we answer them. 
we then direct people to the appropriate uh, healthcare yeah. services. So after school, and then I saw the app, I'm like, okay, this is a good way to go. So I did my, my test and I realized it can go. Then I started. So the, the thing is, people these days, I mean, young, young people like us, we barely will really hear someone say, I'm sitting by the radio to listen to health talks or sitting by the TV to actually watch a health talk going mm -hmm. on. We are all on social media and, and it seems everybody's on TikTok, everybody's yeah. on Instagram, everybody's on Snapchat. So then I decided this would be a nice platform to get the message out there because mm. virtually everyone is, is on the app. I see. So I, I started and it, it has been very impactful. Okay. If you actually take one video of mine and coincidentally you happen to get the same condition, then you realize how much message you are getting from yeah. the video. Although it's going to be like 36 seconds or maximum one minute yeah you realize what you got from that video you probably won't even get it when you go to the consult so room. do you combine it with dancing now yes i do combine it with dancing so as i said i started by just sitting down the pointing text. and, and then I, uh, once in a while i would join any of the tiktok dance challenges if it ah. was that easy because i'm not really good at dancing but with what you did i think you're not bad well, I'm, I'm learning you're learning it's, eh? it's a gradual process I, I i think at the point you realize all the dance moves are almost the same uh -huh. they just modify it per mm. the song so now any dance move i can confidently say i i'll take a day or two but i'll be able but to you pick still it up. try now what <laughs> what has been the most difficult part of tiktok for you as a doctor is the time to actually do it because mm. I, I almost work like 12 hours every day. Mm -hmm. So I, I get to work, I, I wake up around six, I get to work by eight, and I stay over till like 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then I get to home by 10. So from 10 to before I sleep, that's the time I get to go on social media. What time do you sleep, 2 a.m.? Uh, 1, 12, 12, 12 and 1 So between that period, you're trying to catch up on everything yes. plus TikTok? Yes, that is it. So I, I, I actually, if I see a nice, dance challenge mm. and it's easy enough to learn I'll, I'll learn it at home yeah and then i'll go to work the next day the moment i close from work i get some five minutes i do the dance and i go home ah. i come home and then i have all the topics sometimes i have topics there already sometimes oh, i get the topics from okay from, from patients i see okay and the frequently asked questions i get some some of my viewers will comment Oh, doc, um, I have this condition. Can you please help me with it? Yeah. If I get the same question coming multiple times, okay, then I have to do a video on that for people. Ah, I so see. I will prepare the topics and add it to the dance. And uh, so the time is, 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 is really... So at what time of the day do you talk to your girlfriend? Since you have already given us a criteria for who is a player and who is not. And you say you work 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. So you only talk at night, right? No. No. So, I, well, the thing is, if... I'm also if, a detective. Now we're asking questions. Of course. Answer that question. Course. Prove to us you are not a player. Good. So, um, if you have the passion and love for someone, you always try to make time for them, uh -huh. right? So, I wake up, and the first person I call is my woman. Aww. And then... Aww. I asked her how her night has been, okay. and catch up on a few things. It's not a lengthy call. I mean, it's, it's, I'm trying to prepare for work so yeah I just check up on you during the day text messages I send you a streak if I'm doing something or and then I come home okay. and then we, we talk before I sleep oh you so. always talk every night yes before you sleep yep and she waits for you because you get home late yeah, she will she doesn't mean sleep early oh wow on the on that car. oh wow <laughs> I see that's nice yeah but I mean quick one so if you have to give anybody watching you health tips mm -hmm. this afternoon what would you say um Let's be guided by the messages we get from neighbors and, and people around. Because most times, as, as the Ghanaian culture, anytime someone gets sick, they will ask a neighbor or a friend or a relative, oh, there's, there's a lump in my breast. Yeah. What, what does that mean? And uh, if that person doesn't have any idea, they, they are going to obviously tell you what they know. Mm. And two blind men leading people, they're definitely going to fall in a ditch or something. So. Be careful with what you get from people. Always take the initiative to go to the hospital if yeah. you don't understand anything. And and be be quick with your 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 response to your health health matters. Because yeah. that's that's the reason why I actually started this thing. People will come to the hospital in a really bad state for a very small condition that could have been sorted out in minutes. Yeah. The, let's say you get malaria and you decide not to treat it. 
then it gets into anemia. It, it be, it be, you get complicated by anemia, then kidney failure, and it can get to that point, cerebral yeah. malaria. Then the time you bring this child, the, the child already has anemia, has mm -hmm. cerebral malaria. Mm -hmm. And at that point, even if you're able to cure the child, they go with these permanent yeah. disabilities yeah. and things like that. Say if it was your breast and you didn't go early, by the time you get to the hospital, it has already metastasized. You are now in stage four. So screen your breasts. Okay. Especially for women. So the, the message as is as early as possible. If you get any condition, go to the hospital. Or go talk to the hospital. Or talk to the right people. Okay. Let's do a breast screening exercise before you go. <laughs> Raise your hand. Show us how. For everybody. So, and breast screening is not only for yes, women. Yes, it's, it's for everybody. It's for everyone. Okay. Show me what to do <laughs> and I'll screen so you. So you, you, for every examination, you start with an inspection. Yeah. Okay. So I'm let, coming to you. So the patient me. that sits on the, on the chair or uh -huh. on the bed, and then you look. So look are, at what are, exactly? Look at the breast, what you are, what you are going to so You are wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you are wearing a shirt. How, which breast am I looking at? Oh, we will do it backstage. But okay. I'm, I'm giving yes. you the rundown, so when we get there. No, right, whatever you do, I'll, you. I'll try it on you. So yeah, look at right, the breast so, I'm looking. So you're looking and you're looking for symmetry. If one breast is bigger than the other, uh, if there are any skin changes, if there are any discoloration, no, naturally, there are also is. everybody has one breast bigger than the yes, other. Yes, yes, yes. But then obviously... Okay, you know what? Maybe you should stand so that right. I can... Uh-huh, yeah. Talk to me. So if one breast is way bigger than the other, you, you Can I pick check it up. if yours is... You Am I allowed? Yeah. How... Okay. Okay, you are fine. Carry on. <laughs> And then you inspect the nipple as well and everything. Hey! Yep. Yep. Okay, how do you inspect? Do you squeeze? No, you by this time you are only looking. You are not even touching yet. Mm -hmm. And then you come to palpation. Which is? Uh, you are now about to touch. Oh, that's what it means, okay. Yes, so we divide the breast into four quadrants. How? You imaginary your, lines. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. So here, through the nipple, like uh -huh. the, the nipple has the middle. One line here and then one line there. Okay. So now we have the upper outer. Mm upper inner, upper lower, so now four quadrats. Uh -huh. And then you start by palpating with the pop of your finger. Uh -huh. So you, you touch against the breast wall, the chest muscles. Yes, good. Mm. I think you've done this before. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you do that over and over? Yes. Okay, so what, what, hold on guys, so what do you look out for? And I'm, I want to educate people with so this. So when you're doing way. that, you're looking out for lumps, Okay. for any um, disparities in the breast tissue itself. See, the breast tissue itself is lumpy. Mm -hmm. If you've ever palpated, you've held one. Like, I'm sure the guys, I mean, you've held one before. You oh, realize there are lumps. Already, there are lumps, there are lumps in it. But when you find an extra lump, that's why you need the experienced hand. Okay. Then you would pick it. Most times, it will just be something like a firm mass over there. You just yeah. palpate it. And then again, you try to let them activate the pectoralis muscles to see if the mass is attached to the muscle. How do you do that? So they hold their waist and okay. they squeeze. So when you squeeze, you see that muscles are ah. yeah. And if the mass is attached, when you try to move it, it won't move. Okay. okay. Then you know this mass is not just a benign mass, it's I probably see. cancerous. Okay. Yes. But beyond that, you have to go and see a professional exactly. so they can check exactly. for a few other things as well. Exactly. Dr. Kofi, how do we find you on TikTok and other social so media? So it's Dr. Kofi G H on all social media platforms. Yeah. You can find me there. Thank you so much. Nice Thank you. Me. Where do you practice, by the way? Um currently I'm a resident in orthopedics in Confanoche. Ah. And I also work with a private hospital, also in Kumase. Nice. Uh, Metro Health Hospital. We'll so. come and look for you. Come, come, come. We will. We'll definitely go, right? <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining nice us. Team. And all the best. Yeah. Keep up the good work on social media. Nice and I'll definitely check you out. All right. <laughs> take care. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you learned something from it. Most importantly, don't wait till it's too late before you go and see a doctor. As much as possible, get screened for whatever disease it may be. If you notice any changes in your body or your system, Go see a doctor. Speaking of which, she picked up six out of nine awards when she was at the KNUSD studying dental surgeon, uh, or dental surgery, more like. And well, a year later, she got married to one of the most popular artists in Ghana. Are you ready for some dance or reggae music? Are you ready for my telele? We'll be right back. Louisa will be joining us. Don't go anywhere. Charlie, I go